What's going on, everybody? I'm Huey, and I'm here with Hitman, and we're going to do our E3 predictions for 2017, along with some other stuff. Yes. Um, I think most likely the top games that they're going to reveal will be... Bethesda's definitely going to reveal Wolfenstein, I think, highly. I think that's definitely one of the things that they're going to reveal. Wolfenstein's um, a good series. Wolfenstein is a good series. Uh, I did not play... What was what, what was the last one that came out, the DLC? I think it was... It was Blood something. I don't remember completely about that one. Um, I know it's been a while since you've played the series at all. Yeah, I I've, haven't done it since Squares were a thing, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm the resident Wolfenstein expert, I guess. Uh, I would say, if you haven't played it, though, to pick it up and try it. It's a good game. Um, yes. I still I still agree that it's a good game. A good series. Yeah, it is, no, it's definitely a good it. series. Um, I think the next game will probably be uh, Ubisoft will announce Assassin's Creed Origins, which so far has been speculation for the title. Um, it'll be in Egypt. Egypt. Yeah. Hopefully we can uh we can um... to assassinate Emutep for the whole <laughs> mummy series. <laughs> Hopefully we can uh climb some pyramids too. That'd be pretty cool. Just run straight. Just run straight. to the top. <laughs> um the next one uh will be Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Uh, this one's pretty Mario much... Mario fighting the rabbits. Yeah, this one's pretty much purely speculation at this point. The only thing that we've seen is a supposed game cover. But we'll see. Uh, not too many details on that one right now. Um, games that we'll see more of, which will be Star Wars Battlefront 2. We'll definitely see more Star like Wars. Yeah, I didn't really like the last Battlefront, but you know, it had some good qualities about it. Uh, I think a lot of much. people, I think a lot of people were were kind of upset with it. To be honest, uh, it, it lacked yeah, in quality. It, like, like it, I, exactly. I, I can't really say quality. It lacked in quantity. Yeah, that's what that's what it is. Quantity. Yeah, there's quantity. like it, it was it was good, but there wasn't enough in there to do. There, there really wasn't. So it, it looks like they're they're definitely redoing it, and they're, they've learned from their mistake, as far as I can tell. Mm -hmm. But I guess I guess we'll see. Um, Super Mario Odyssey, I definitely think will be talked about on uh, Nintendo's part. Uh, the Last of Us Two, you know, Sony's oh, yeah. definitely got to do Last of Us. That's definitely coming out. Yeah, I can't wait for that. Yeah. So now we'll get to, hopefully, we'll see some gameplay, and hopefully everybody will put to rest that Joel is dead. Kind of getting tired of that one, because hopefully he's Easy. not. He's, he's a ghost. He's a ghost. He's the host of G's. The G <laughs> host. <laughs> um, Destiny 2, we know they're probably definitely going to end up talking a little bit more about Destiny. Uh, that one, that one as well was exactly like Star Wars Battlefront, where, I mean, it, it seemed like there wasn't enough to do, you just grinded everything continuously. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, yeah, it looks, like yeah, it, it, it looks like they, they definitely are, are, are trying something new. Uh, my whole thing with that, I think, was the, there was no matchmaking for, uh, for raids. Which was ridiculously easy, yeah. uh, hard to go and find six people or five other people, I should say. You know, there was no way. I mean, unless you really looked and went on, you know, message boards and YouTube, Facebook, you know, any place that had Destiny on it, there was really, it was really difficult to find people. On that Twitter. Yeah, they, they had to have a forum just so you can get people together just to do it. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's just been matchmaking. Yeah. 
Well, they don't have they don't quite have matchmaking yet. It's it's a form of matchmaking where it's more or less yeah. like uh, I don't I don't know if you, if you, if you have seen it or not, but it is it's a form of matchmaking where it's um it's people who don't play with like uh, like I don't know what to call it guilds I guess you'd say you know like their faction. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Like whoever doesn't play with like their own guild people. Like if you play by yourself and you don't join one, you can look for people, gilded people who are looking for like, I guess maybe called us stragglers. <laughs> okay. And then vice versa. So if you are in a guild, you know, then you can look for stragglers. And if you're not in a guild, then you can look for guild people. Guild people. Um, Crackdown 3, I really hope will be talked about because as of right now, Microsoft has no first party games really and truly um i don't know did, did you see too much about crackdown uh no i haven't seen much about crackdown um but i do remember crackdown 2 and crackdown uh the original and they were pretty fun yeah i hope then... that they keep some of the elements from those two games I, I hope they don't change it too much but i also don't want them to keep it too bland right yeah i completely agree um it looks like in the new one they're actually it's I think it's online only because they're actually using uh, cloud power, pretty much. From Final Fantasy? <laughs> exactly. I got, I got this. Um, and what that means is that buildings are completely destructible. Like, you can take take down a whole entire building. Yeah, like in, uh, like in Battlefield. Bad company and bad company you can do that uh that pretty awesome. much but it's more or less not just a little building it's like a skyscraper okay that's fucking that's yeah nice. so that's the reason why it's, it's online only because they need that you know that extra power from the cloud in order to get that done um hopefully they'll t give us a little bit more on death stranding probably not but yeah i guess we'll yeah, see yeah because so far, the more we see, the more we are confused. What's with the black stuff? What's the baby going? <laughs> exactly. Why is Norman Reedus naked? I need to know this. We need to know these Those things. Those sky things. <laughs> Why is everything dying? I don't know. <laughs> and that's the basis of Death Stranding. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and then uh, we have Need for Speed Payback, which... I haven't played a Need for Speed game in a little while. I did get the last one, but that one was pretty good. But before that, I wasn't too keen on uh, Need for Speed. Um. Yeah. I, yeah. Need for Speed. Need for Speed is is always good. I'm not really into racing games. Uh, I guess you're more into racing games than I am. But you know, Need for Speed, Need for Speed, they can, they can do with a new one. It's it's always there's always something new to come out with a with a racing game. Yeah, they can always so improve. Yeah, they can always improve. Uh, the only thing I don't like about the new one is the whole it looks like Fast and Furious. Like I don't, I really don't like that. I I find that weird. Um, the next thing would probably be. The actual big threes presentation so Sony who we all know and love uh, they'll probably do uh, PlayStation will announce a price drop for PS4 Pro uh, most likely it'll probably just be about 50 bucks because you know they're not gonna Take a whole bunch Which off. Which will be it. good because then I can finally buy another PS4. <laughs> yeah, if you have a 4K TV, there you go. <laughs> I, I yeah. mean, I guess even if you don't have a 4K TV, supposedly it uh, it runs games better, you know, higher frame rate and all those like good stuff. Let me let me just go back right quick. Uh, go back to the games that uh, are going to be announced. Um, another game that I was looking forward to is the Sea of Thieves. That should be a good one. Uh, a lot of multiplayer actions going on in that one. Oh, uh, yes. I for completely forgot about that one. Yeah. I figured you did. That's why I, I figured I would go back to that <laughs> and talk about that. Yeah. 
it looks like it's going to be fun, but uh, only problem that I would see is that you have to have, uh, you know, you have to have people online to play it with. But I'm pretty sure that I don't know if they're going to have like a matchmaking thing where it sets you up with a crew, or if it'll fill in your crew with a uh, with like computer, right? Or not, just minimum, or like if you buy crew, computer crew, something like that. That would be a good thing for it. Yeah, I I, th I think that that one's definitely going to be interesting to look at. Um, another uh, Microsoft exclusive. So, I wonder if it, they're actually going to have it just for Xbox, or is it going to be for both? Because I feel like that's one of the things that's kind of hurting Microsoft as is, because nothing's really an exclusive anymore. It's yeah. it's always for both PC and the Xbox. All right, and so... if they're just going to make it exclusive just for Xbox, then they might as well make it for everyone if cause they're just going to be losing it from the fact that it's for a computer and that. Right, yeah, I agree. Um, Alright, so back to Sony. Future. Uh, <laughs> they'll probably announce a new bundle for the VR. Um, They might also do... A price drop for that as well. I mean, I don't know. Uh, it's been selling pretty decently. I don't. I wouldn't say it's been been really good, but it's it's up to where they thought it was gonna sell. So I guess that's pretty good, which I'm happy for because I am a VR enthusiast. While I don't own a headset yeah. yet, I think it's a really cool idea, and I think most likely that will be the future of gaming eventually. Yeah, I think I think all all gamers, I think, or at least the people that I knew that. that... Everybody likes a VR because it's the next step in gaming. Yeah, exactly. It's more immersive. To the future. Yeah. Yeah. And everybody everybody likes it, the idea of, of being in the game, being a part of it, you know, because exactly. like, I don't know about you guys, but whenever I play, whenever I'm playing a game, I get really into it. I don't know if you've ever seen our streams, but I get really into it because I, I'm, I try to be a part of the game. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I guess the next one would be uh, a possible PS5 reveal. Speculation, but hi highly doubt, highly doubt, highly doubt it. A lot of people are thinking because since Microsoft is doing Scorpio, that Sony's just gonna be like, you know what, we've had enough with the PlayStation 4, so we'll go ahead and we'll move on to the next thing. I don't, I don't think that's yeah. gonna be the case. Because since PS4 is ultimately the winner of this console generation, they have a nice cushion lead, so they're just going to coast and make whatever money they can. So, Which makes sense. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, Alright, on to Microsoft's. Uh, Microsoft, Xbox, I guess we'll just call it. Xbox presentation will run over their normal 90 minutes which has been confirmed. Uh, and hopefully that will mean more first-party games will be announced. Because as of right now, there's only like a handful of them. So um, We also know that undoubtedly they will release Scorpio. There's, there's no point for them not to show us the box. Um... You got anything to add to that? Uh, no, not really. Alright. Uh, yeah, I figured that one was pretty straightforward. Uh, Nintendo. We'll go on to Nintendo's. Uh, Nintendo will reveal... Now, this one is, is a personal prediction. Uh, Nintendo will either reveal a new controller, like a new Joy-Con color, or a whole new colored system. Um, I think they'll also show some more Wii U games that are going to be ported over to the Switch. Uh, fingers crossed, Bayonetta 2. Um, that good. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the, the games that, that I uh, didn't get to play for the, for the Wii U. Um, I think they'll also reveal the SNES Classic, that if they do, will no doubt sell out instantly. And will be like mm -hmm. two or three hundred dollars on eBay. Oh yeah, um, definitely. Because classics always, always just disappear. Yeah, yeah. Because you know those those scalpers, those scalpers love Nintendo. 
especially with the whole amiibo craze and all the rest of that. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> um, I guess we'll go on to our wish list. Wish list, yeah. Source on the wish list. Um, I think number one would probably be Metroid. Um, I don't know if they're going to do it. I don't know if they're going to do it as a side scroller or if they're going to do it, you know, as like their uh, first person view. Like they had on GameCube. Um, I think personally, I'd rather have the first person view. Yeah, it's a little bit more immersive. Yeah, I think. I think what they should do is they should have it uh, as first-person view and some mini games in there to, to, for nostalgia, just so that you can go back to the uh, side scroll. That, oh, okay. That's what I think. Would be good. Yeah, I think I, actually I think that that's a really good idea actually, and that that sounds exactly like something Nintendo might do. Um, I think next on our wish list would is definitely a personal favorite of mine would be Skate Four. You know, it probably won't be announced, but that's why this is a wish list. It's been... You said Skate? Yeah, Skate 4. Uh, I think it's probably been about six, six or seven years since the last one came out. So I think it's time for them to capitalize on that Skate community. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I haven't really heard much about any new skating games, actually. So yeah, that, that would actually... I think that would do pretty good. Yeah, the the last one that came out was uh, Tony Hawk took another crack at it, and it was a buggy yeah, mess and that. failed miserably. So yeah, there's that. <laughs> um, Bully Two. Bully Two, that would be a good one. I I liked all the all things about Bully Number One, uh, especially whenever you just launch water balloons at people. That's always fun. To do. <laughs> You know, whenever I was I was playing uh, the very first one, for some reason I really and truly felt like eventually this kid was gonna be able to steal a car. Yeah, it's because it's because of the uh, rock star like thing that you've got. <laughs> yeah, it's it's it's, it's just feel for it. exactly. It's it's just because of of the kind of character that you play as. So like, I really did feel like eventually that's what you were gonna be able to do. That game that game took place in what high school, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I haven't played that game in a while. Bully 2. Bully 2, I, I don't know what, what direction they take. If they try to take a new character or proceed with him through another year of school, maybe? Um, I don't know. I felt like maybe they could do college. Yeah, they, they could probably push it towards college. Like I don't I don't know if technically like since it was where it was like if he necessarily would want to go to college, but I feel like in a way that that's one way that they could take it. Or military school, just because he doesn't <laughs> want to go anywhere. Oh right. <laughs> well, I can see that too. And then you could just do like uh, like the factions there. That would be interesting. <laughs> I mean, considering interesting. considering the fact that considering the fact that it was uh it was. A private school, military school would you, you had to be an interesting way for it to go, right? Because military school is pretty much like a private school in its own, with different rules. Right. Yeah. So I think I think if they if they did that would be a good direction to do it. I'm not saying they would do it if they did it, but that would be a good direction. College would be another good direction to do it. Military college, there's always that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, next on our list would be Smash Bros. for the Switch. Um, whether it be a port, I highly doubt they're going to do a port of the Wii U one, because Nintendo really doesn't do stuff like that when it comes to Smash Bros. People have been asking yeah. for Melee whenever the Wii U first came out for a long time, and it's normally it's only a once-in-a-generation for uh, Smash Bros., um yeah smash brothers smash brothers uh, i haven't played much since uh a while back but smash bros they, they they have a good uh good thing going another another good one that i, I think uh I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to cut you on your list uh would be another another something about sega something uh something in that that range just like a revamp of of like the sega genesis or something 
where we can get something. That would be a good good thing to have. Some some of the old school games revamped onto disc. Okay, so you, you think they should uh, do it as a disc, or you think they should they do, it do it as like a it. like a classic console, like they did for uh, Nintendo? They can they can do it as a classic console. I'm not saying that wouldn't work. I'm just saying uh, something 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 more modern. You know. Okay, like I feel, the new I feel games with better graphics. Right. I feel in a way like if, if they're gonna go and do that, then they might as well go for the nostalgia market, like Nintendo's been doing for the longest time. And they might as well just make like a, a a little Genesis, you know, that you get like a a Genesis controller with because you know of course you're gonna want to play with, you know, the same controller that you remember and all the rest of those you know little goodies. Yeah, I agree. I agree. But the see the thing is, like you said, uh, they have the they have they have the market cornered in in Nintendo, so Sega Sega can't really compete with it. But a uh, good nostalgia setting would be would work. <laughs> um, what's, what's next on the list uh, I think the next one on the list is a new Playstation handheld now I know with the Vita being dropped like a hot potato yeah, very quickly um, yeah that one didn't work out very well but if uh, if you remember the PSP that one was uh, a pretty great little Glasses. handheld, yeah. Yep. If it they could do something, the Boy. yeah, it it sure did. Like if if they could do something like that again, you know, where they actually have you know games that you know were worth a damn. Maybe uh yeah, they could actually get a, a GTA handheld again. Yeah, that that would be nice to have it again, or a new uh new thing in the Assassin's Creed series. Uh, actually, the handled. the Vita got that. The Vita got Liberation, which yeah, actually yeah, I, was I, a really I good game. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that was actually one of the Nintendo. only good games that were that was actually worth a damn. Um, next on our wish list, uh, Virtual Console for Nintendo Switch. That will hopefully go up to GameCube. Maybe we'll get some some nice GameCube uh, announcements. Going on there. Yeah. Yeah. I personally, going back to to Melee, I personally hope that they announce Smash Brothers Melee. That I know is probably the fan favorite. Like people still talk about it. It's still regarded, I guess, as the best. Smash Brothers, they come out with, uh, for especially for uh, speed and pacing and uh, how like all the characters played. Everybody played super smooth. Super smooth, super smash. Super smooth, scuba Steve. <laughs> okay, yeah. So, <laughs> a new Smash Bros. That would be interesting. Do you uh do you have any interest in uh, GameCube? Maybe they could uh, put on there. Mm. Not, not really. Not that I can think of. I don't. Um. I know uh, they could probably put one of the uh, old school Pikmin's on there. <laughs> Pikmin, yeah. yeah exactly. Pikmin. Uh, I know they could do that. Um, maybe like one of the uh, the older Zeldas, since the new Zelda has been selling so well. <laughs> the new the new Zelda sold so well that it actually sold more than pretty much almost more than the console itself, which is funny. Mm -hmm. People were buying well, the, the, I mean, the game before they even bought the console. <laughs> exactly. But I mean, it's also Zelda. They knew it was going to sell, and then they included all these extra awesome components into it. And oh, it yeah. And oversold. Yeah. <laughs> but um, there's a reason for that, because it's such a good game. Yeah, it definitely, yeah, that was definitely a good Everybody game. Loved it. 10 out of 10 for sure. It's the only review we have on our uh, our channel as of now. That will change yeah. here soon, but as of now, oh. yeah, that one, that one I felt like we definitely needed to, uh, to include because it was such a good game. Um, well, I guess that, that's it. Um, did, uh, did you need to, did you want to add anything else? 
Um, I think I think we covered most of it. Uh, I can't think of anything else right now, really. Uh, all right. Well, thanks for tuning in, DNA Gaming. Um. Been Hitman and Emerald. Yep, we are Hitman and Emerald, and we'll talk to you again soon.